Well, it looks like the Easter Bunny came early for me, because even though you're seeing this on Easter, it is only uh, the Saturday before. It's the day before. And this came yesterday, so I'm really lucky. All right. So what we got here is from a company called Wheelock. And this is their smart door lock. If you're interested in them, Wheelock Incorporated Management in the USA service at wheelockglobal.com. And their address here in the U.S. is 939 Radecki Court, City of Industry, California, 91748. So, let's see what's in the box. A smart way to open your door. I'll settle for a secure way to keep my door closed. So here's what we got. A very interesting looking lock that appears to have different ways to open it. So I'm looking here. So you can open it by code and turn the door. Passcode flowchart. Oh my. We've got modify the default master code, modify the admin passcode, add a user passcode, delete, clear them all, RFIDs, wow. This is really interesting. We've got a low battery alarm if it goes below 20%. ceiling gaskets here and here is the heart of it and that's your doorknob you can do a code you can do Bluetooth I'm pretty sure you can unlock it with a key There's the keys that go with these. They're kind of rough milled, man. You can you can really see the tooling marks in there. But whatever. I'm sure the lock picking lawyer would have no trouble getting into here. What do you think, Harry? Could you get in? Here we have RFID cards. Very nice. This is our inside door handle, and as you can see, you can turn it either way. Very nice. And our installation kit. Cool. I think this is going to go onto my back door. I think. May, the determining factor is going to be where does it fit really and look best. So, onward we go. Well, there's the lock installed in my back door. The physical installation of it, anyway, which was relatively simple. 
it only took one, two, three, four, you can't see them, but five and six right there. So six screws. This is strange. This works fine. And of course, I made sure the door shut. The latch worked. And this works either up or down, which is nice. All right, so we got everything installed. The batteries are in their little com little compartment behind there. As you can see, it uses three AAA batteries. I'm just going to put this little rubber bung cover back in there. That's like so. And as you can see, the doorknob still spins. Dog dog, does the doorknob still spin? Yes, dog dog indicates the doorknob still spins. So to make it not spin, all we have to do is press the lock button, enter our secret code, and now you can see it works. Then after a second, you should hear a beep again. And we're back to this. Let's take it out on the porch now and try it in an actual situation. All right, here we go. Nothing. Now I'll unlock it. And she's good. I'm going to wait for it to relock itself here. So, other ways to unlock it include an RFID card. Three of them are included. You can see we're still locked. Press the button, card up against it, door works. So the last way to open it from here, I mean without the app, is a key. And you just have to get that little rubber sealer out of there. Perhaps a key would work. Yes, it does. And as you can see, the door is still locked. Key goes in. And we're good key out we're not so good all right let's go talk about the app so here's the app you can see it says the door is locked if I touch it it'll say it's connecting now it's connected unlock successfully turn the knob so the door is unlocked ready to roll then we have these things down here I believe this one are our logs yeah so you can see there's our unlock there that's all the information it gives you I thought maybe it would tell you something else but no what is this here oh that's our authorization okay we can add passwords here we can remove passwords there we can create a temporary password. For instance, if we had, you know, a repairman coming, we can add a temporary password. Uh, pin. This is where you add the RFID cards. This is where you delete them. Now our time is synced. I don't know why it's important. That's what this one is. Data export. Then we have a reset. Whoops, wrong button. And a help if you have any trouble. The only trouble I had 
was actually getting them to send me a code to access the app. And the reason was I put in my phone number for them to send me the code. And then the next thing down in the box said, uh, send code. So I did, nothing happened. And the next thing down was pass, what password you wanted. So you have to put your password in first, then go back up and hit send the code and it'll work out fine. Tells you what's the admin password the first time. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. That should be printed on the box somewhere. That could be a little difficult to find. But yeah. So that is the WeLock and its app. I think it's pretty cool. I know some of you are going to say now the Chinese can uh, get in my house by unlocking my door remotely. Well, sure. I'm not really too worried about Chinese spies breaking into my house to steal my Les Paul. It just doesn't seem like a likely thing. So, whatever. But you make your own security decisions for you. These locks go between uh, $99 and I think the $119 for the other one. I'll put a link down below. And I'm sure there's a sale going on. So, check it out if you like it. And if you like this video, I hope you'll give me and Dogly a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and a big thanks to Wheelock for sending this out to us. That's it. I'm out. Peace.